and then sit down and then get in your technique. Watch. Skate. One, two, three, four. One, it's in front of your body. Two, you wind up arms and legs. Three, you let the legs and the arms go. Four, you follow through. Okay, skate. Plant your feet. And let's see your best shot. Let's learn some refined stuff. Maybe stuff that you haven't heard before. When we shoot, everyone always says shoot it off the heel, right? We shoot it off the heel so that that puck can saucer. And that's what we tell beginners. Absolutely, that's correct, to a certain degree. Everyone, when we got you doing this, the sweeping, the sweep should be long, loud, but also quick. And if my full blade is flat on the ice, I'll be adding too much resistance. All I really need to do is put weight in my stick and keep that weight up until I release my shot. Why? Because this $400, $300 hockey stick will help add some whip to my shot. No flex. Flex. Which one's harder? Flex. So now here's the thing though. If your full blade is flat on the ice and you flex all the way through, it's too much resistance. So what I want you to do as an advanced technique, everybody out here is advanced, put the puck on the toe of the blade in the windup. Flex your stick, but now the only thing adding resistance to your shot will be the toe. But you'll still be able to flex your stick through it. By the time it reaches that critical point where the puck is in line with your front heel, then at, at that point, naturally, elite level AAA, AA players will know how to naturally bring the puck to the heel and then snap it back off of the toe. Everyone watch this puck, it's still saucer, but I started on the toe and watch the quick release. Yes, the puck essentially is going toe to heel and then back to the toe. Does everyone understand? Yeah. Okay, now the second thing that I'm going to teach you is this. Take it easy, chill out. I got more to teach. When we wind up, your wind up does not need to be big. Underneath your chin should be your bottom hand, so that all of the strength that you have goes down this arm, and you can put weight into your really amazing hockey sticks. You keep that weight up by keeping that underneath your chin, that bottom hand. If you wind up so big though, where underneath your chin is your top hand, you won't be able to flex your stick as much, or you'll have to overcompensate by leaning too far to the left. We're all doing front leg shots. Everyone take a knee and look like a soldier while you do it. Take a knee, one knee, get your butt up. The knee that is forward right now is called your front leg. If you're a lefty, naturally, your right leg is ahead. If you're a righty, naturally, your left leg is ahead. That is the leg that I want you leaning on when you shoot. So now, if you're a lefty, you wind up and you lean on the left leg and you flex your stick and your blade is on the left, but do not continue leaning on the left. Stride onto the right, and then you'll actually take the same stride that we were working on before. Good stride, better stride. Tomorrow, we will wind up and put our weight on our right leg. Shoot off on our left leg. And that's called an off leg shot. Or maybe a back leg shot. Or an inside leg shot. I don't know what to call it. What should we call it? Let's just call it an off leg shot. I like off leg. Off leg's cool. We'll work on that one tomorrow. That's more of a quicker release. I'm gonna teach you one more thing. This is the single most common error to players shooting. If who has a synthetic ice board when they shoot at home? Okay, hey, if you point your toes that way while your net is this way and your puck is on the synthetic ice board, you're training yourself to skate sideways as you shoot. I want you to do this at home. Have your synthetic ice board to the side but keep your toes and your feet off of the synthetic ice board and keep the, synthetic, keep the puck on the top corner of the synthetic ice board and you can still slide it into a wind up position and still shoot it from there with your toes pointing at the net. This is so important because if I shoot, a lot of us are doing this. Look at my right foot. A lot of person people's right foot is facing that way or their left foot's facing this way if there's a righty. This is as far as I can go into my follow through if I'm stuck there. This is not a good stride. Point your toe at the target, and all of a sudden you can sit down into it more. Instead of starting to turn, as you shoot, 
don't turn off until after you shower. Plan Yes? Let's try to put all those in practice. my shot, and my shot looked a lot like that. It's a pretty good shot. But that, on a good goalie, the goalie will rob me. Maybe it's my accuracy is a bit better there. Then we put in some more muscle behind it. We be more accurate. Um, me having just the intention that I'm shooting for a reason. Not just shooting to put it on the net, shooting to put it in the net. Yes? Here's how we make our shot more powerful. Of course we want a shot more powerful. If the goalie can't see it because it's so powerful, we can't stop it. Bottom hand, bottom arm, long, loud, quick sweep. Top wrist, snap it over as fast as you can. Back leg, a lot of guys load up weight and then they just stand on their right leg as opposed to loading up weight on the left and actually pushing off on that leg, push off that leg. Some guys just stand on that front leg, and we talked about that if their toe faces this way. I want you to sit down on it and continue gliding on it. What else? If we skate to the net very fast, then what'll naturally happen is you'll have some momentum behind your shot, and your shot will be way more powerful. And that's the next thing that we're gonna focus on. Instead of skating, pausing your skate, and then going one, two, three, four, I want you to now shoot it in stride. If this was position one before, now I want this to be position one. I want you in stride, and then position two, three, four. If we were on a breakaway and we just started uh, gliding to the net, someone would back check us. So now I want you shooting it in stride. Yeah, in stride. And that means how we start. You should be starting on the back and the side, crossing into it, and then or you start on your forehand side and then you charge the net and then look it from there. I don't care if you take a wrist shot, a snap shot, or a wrist snap shot, like kind of a combination of the two. Wrist shot into a snap shot. Doesn't matter which one, just make sure that it's proper technique, powerful, accurate, and we shoot the score. Make sense? How do we make our shot accurate? There's five things to make your shot more powerful. There's only two to make it more accurate. Point your toe. Point your toe at your target, I like that. You can also point the tip of your toe, of your blade. Yes? Follow through. Follow through, absolutely. If I wanted to hit Ethan's left eye, I would point like this. If I wanted to hit his right eye, I'd point like this. A lot of players are only pointing maybe to here. And if I went all the way through, then I'd be able to hit my target more on. Yes, sir. Absolutely. If I were to wind up, Connor, can I borrow this? And throw this, if I were to wind up, and then look at Sean, and then follow through and point to Sean, I'm likely to hit some place of Sean, some part of it. But if I wind up and look at my puck, and then throw it, it would be ridiculous, first of all, and my accuracy would be way off. So now when we wind up to shoot, it would be equally ridiculous if we wind up, look at your puck, and then shoot. We wind up and look at our target. Watch this, my target's gonna be bottom left corner, a little lower, just off the inside post. So I hit the post dead on. So now the subtlest little micro movement to the right. That's it. A little too far to the right. I like that one. Just the subtlest little micro movements. If you're driving a car on the highway and you just do this, you'll enter into the next lane. If you do this, 
you'll enter into the ditch. So now the subtlest little micro movements with your stick as well too. Can you do this one more time? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Hey, wind up and look at what? Look at your target. Go! 